Prophet. If you could tell us, I mean, uh, many wonder what goes on in the ministry. Why is it that year in, year out, the statistics are there about how many Nigerians leave the country for better and qualitative education, how much Nigerians spend on education in West Africa, even Togo here, Ghana, and then how much we spend overseas, I mean, uh, beyond Africa. Uh, the standards to get in, the requirements to get into right from even the unity schools. But we don't seem to see uh, concerted efforts, perhaps we miss it, from the education ministry to see how can they address these challenges headlong. Do they ever really come up with programs to specifically handle these issues or is it all politics? Well, I cannot uh, speak for the ministry right now, but uh, what I could observe while I was there, uh, which I think uh, the trend has continued right now, is that uh, those, uh, in terms of the recruitment pattern uh, is a little faulty. Uh, we need to get it right by getting uh, the very best, for instance, to be in the inspectorate division, so that when policies are in place, you also have people who will be able to uh, follow up and ensure compliance with those uh, situations. Now, there have been some problems over the years in two partic particular areas. One, the admission policies into our uh, school system and so on. There have been problems there where the influence, influence peddling that has affected the quality of those you know, who come in. I believe, for one, that uh, Every effort should be made to ensure that quality education is given Nigerian children all over. At the same time, I also believe that we do not compromise standards in such a way that we now complicate the problem of uh, inadequate uh, equipment available even for the education of those who are there. The other area is the education that we are giving out. Is education is a very serious matter. When you get it right, the nation will get it right. When you do not get it right, the nation will be in trouble. I believe that from the very top to the bottom, we should be getting it right by making sure that the people we place in charge of the education sector are those who understand the internal workings of the system. They must know what they are supposed to do. They must be able to interpret the policies, and they must be able to implement appropriately. Uh, this is one area that calls for putting a round peg in a round hole, putting a square peg in a square hole. When you miss it, you, you can only give what you have. You can't give what you don't have. Well, let's go political now. Uh, and speaking about getting it right, uh, your party was in the saddle for 16 years. And now there's a lot of talk about restructuring. So there are those who will then ask, while your party was in the saddle, why didn't they address this challenge headlong? I believe the issue was addressed uh, you know, and, uh, at three different uh, points. I know that uh, President Basanjo started it. Then later on, Yadua, in spite of the time, the very short time that he spent, President Yadua also, you know, because of his orientation in particular, he, he, he was trying to do something in that regard. And President Jonathan, uh, we shouldn't forget the fact that the essence of the 2014 uh, CONFAB was to really address this issue. Because when a problem exists, you identify that problem, that is the way forward. And you do not tackle it, then you are, you are, you are just leaving the problem uh, to, to fester. But he called it CONFAB and so much was discussed. When you go through the report, you realize that uh, so much was done by very committed, very patriotic Nigerians who felt that, look, this country must get it right. And the recommendations that they made, if we had, you know... To say that uh, the CONFAB appeared to be an afterthought. Uh, secondly, it wasn't all-inclusive because if he really planned to address those issues, it should have come in way earlier in the life of that administration and not towards the end, the twilight, wherein people just thought it was just to assuage certain political... Uh, interest, as it were. Well, I believe, I believe that at the time it came, 
the priorities of government were such that uh, that was when he, he thought he should really come in, uh, having collated the views and expectations of the people. But one thing which is important is that people usually say better late than never. He came up with that program and Nigerians sat. And to say that uh, it was not all inclusive, I, think, I don't think that is correct. I think looking at the uh, profile, the, the, the spread, and the, the composition of the panel, Nigerians hailed the, the composition and the quality of members, you know, in, in that confab, you give credit because Nigeria is resourceful in terms of men and material and the main utilization of men for that particular uh, uh, program, I, I believe, is really commendable. And what they came up with, for goodness sake, when we look at each of the provisions, the recommendations that were made, they were wonderful. They were designed, they designed to move this country forward and to think that Nigerians, that many, could come together to unanimously endorse those positions. They deserve a lot of credit. And the administration that brought that about also deserve to be given credit for it. The implementation, nothing has been done since then because there's a change of government and the government that has come into place does not seem to be sensitive to the yearnings of the people to appreciate the dimensions or the dilemma that, uh, that you know, that pervading Nigeria. And of course, to appreciate the fact that unless and until some of the critical issues, very, very vital issue of national concern are addressed. So sorry, Prof, just, just give us a minute. Uh, we need to go to break, but we'll be back and let you wrap up your thoughts in just a moment. Do join us again. <laughs>